CD Projekt Red, can I have your babies, please? Because you guys are so sexy. It's the way you think, what you do, how you treat me, how you treat everyone. Can I just, can I have your babies? Because this discussion is all about how awesome CD Projekt Red is as a, as a game developer in 2020 because we are not seeing any of this. I'm going to refute that just a slight bit. <laughs> it's not that they are such an awesome developer that we want to have their babies. It's you don't. that... <laughs> It's the fact that this is the paragon that, or the uh, example that all AAA developers need to start aspiring to. Please, thank you. Yes. So yeah. if you guys like this discussion and we earn it, please go down below and subscribe and ring the notification bell, as well as leave your comments and your feedback down below. Because if we're wrong on something, let us know we're wrong. And if you know we feel it's good enough, we'll actually do a whole review refuting anything that we're doing. We'll video. Re we'll do video. a he means video. Yeah, review, retraction, whatever. Those words. Don't forget to stick around Rebuttal. all the way to the end to make sure you guys understand our full context of the conversation without any further ado let's get into our discussion on cd project red the sexiest game developer of 2020 that's Geralt. Geralt is the sexy part make sure you hit that subscribe button make sure you ring that notification bell and make sure to share this with everyone you know to help us beat that massive youtube algorithm all right, so I am uh, uh, fairly new to understanding who CD Projekt. Yes, Project. I know. Hold on, hold Just on. so everybody knows, never played Witcher Three. However, never played Witcher Three. So, however, yeah. Yeah. as all yeah. consumers, I have my fair share of businesses I don't like to do business with, and I think <laughs> yeah. that that's yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think sorry, that came out of nowhere. I have no idea what happened. There. That also um, hurt. Um, and I honestly, Sorry. I think that that's just where it comes from is to see just a business in general in 2020 <laughs> treat its consumers with some respect. Well, I mean, they've been doing it since 2000. Uh, when, when did Witcher 1 come out? 07 or was it 09? I think it was 07. That's, that's all. That's I think all. it was 07. That, um, no, no. They've always, they've always been super pro consumer. And I mean, we're talking about a developer that is from Poland, mm -hmm. right? Like yes. you, you, you never look at Poland and say, oh yeah, they have such a booming games market. Um, they uh, came out. They wanted to get the licenses to the Witcher series, which mm -hmm. uh, uh, I'm going to butcher the name. Uh, Andrzej Zepkowski. Go it's for it. Best I can do. Just roll with it. Um, and uh, fantastic books. And for you Witcher fans that have not read them, please read them. They are awesome, and they will fill in a lot because CD Projekt Red pulled a lot from them. Um, but that being said, they got the rights from that. Mm -hmm. But they were new. They didn't have any technology. They didn't have an engine. So they actually licensed the Aurora engine from. I, I, I should know this. We yes, you should. About this. We talked about this. Go for it. Bioware. Oh, that's right. <laughs> oh, I knew that thing. And uh, oh. here's the fun fact, too, is that it was uh, it wasn't really in licensing state. Um, <laughs> so they had to build a lot of it themselves anyway. And Witcher was good it was um not quite up to snuff worth uh with where rpgs were in 07 mm -hmm. and then the enhanced edition came out and brought a lot of things back up in line there and if you play it now uh you can find it on steam uh, they often run sales where you can pick this thing up for three bucks less than a coffee do it um but some voice acting some animations not quite where we'd expect to right. be right well, yeah. and it looks like a budget game because it was but here's the thing is their quest design their storytelling their world building their lore because they're pulling from a novel well it's no different than a lord of the rings game but just we know yeah. lord of the rings we don't know the witcher and all of this blends into and culminates into this fan base that grows around this game and we go wait no this, this there, there's something here and then you well, get I'm, into i i like, want to say well, it's 2010 um, maybe 11 when uh, Witcher 2 Assassins of Kings comes out and this is where they hit their stride this is a game that is so future proofed that there are some systems today that cannot run it on Max well and let's Budget so, systems, let's, so let's jump to because obviously people know them from The Witcher and the reason we're talking about them is all the hype around Cyberpunk 2077 and it, this let's is, jump this to is, 2020 let's jump to 2020 no we Why? have we have one more stop before we hit 2020 and that is 2015 are we doing a full history no, we're doing an abbreviated <laughs> history. So we're going to make one more pit stop in 2015, and that is The Witcher 3, The Wild Hunt. Yes. Which is still held up as one of the premier open world games 
ever. No, and it and is, but what... From the character to the quest design to the dialogue to the writing, everything about this game was such a, at such a high quality that they are still held into high regard. And so now we can go into our current discussion, which is why everybody is so damn hyped about Cyberpunk. No, no, no. Why they're the best game developer. Because... One of the first things well, that really they're, they're caught hyped my eye. about Cyberpunk because of the best game developer. Well, and that's <laughs> they say, hey guys, if you because it will be because um, this is coming right around the release time of the uh, the next gen consoles, and they, hey guys, mm-hmm. if you buy it on the old gen, guess what? You get a free upgrade to the new gen. You don't have to buy our game twice. Yeah, Why would I, you? I'm, I'm starting to see other big uh, big industry leaders like Ubisoft and EA start to toy around with these systems because CG Project Red is getting so much good. Uh, yeah. And media so, off of this yeah and so but they yeah. come out and they say hey guys if you buy our game once just because it releases around this game th- this this period of switching consoles doesn't mean you need to buy it twice and that right there i heard that and i was like w- interesting i was keep like in oh. mind and so i started kind of keep, looking keep, into keep it a in mind. More. keep in mind when i first opened my copy of witcher 3 mm-hmm. i opened up the case because it came with the sleeve yeah and so i pulled the sleeve off i opened up the case to slide into the disc and there's a note saying Thank you for supporting us. If you supported us in the past, we thank you for that also. <laughs> and then attached to this is a whole list of all the free content you'll be getting over the course of the year. Mm-hmm. Skins for major characters like Yennefer and Ciri yeah. and Geralt and Triss. And this is all free. No season pass. It is a season pass, but it's free. It mm-hmm. just comes. Mm-hmm. And then you dive into the game and the quality of it. And then... The pro consumer, no DRM. Back in the um, Witcher 2 era, it was one of the highest pirated games. Oh, God. And then they released a statement saying, hey, guys, we're so glad you're enjoying the game. For those of you who have found alternative means to acquiring it, if you would be so kind as to purchase a legitimate copy, we'd greatly appreciate it. It helps us to make The Witcher 3. And piracy dropped. (laughs) (laughs) Well, and see, here's the thing. It, and then I'll, this, I'll, I'll make this point very, very early in the video. Probably too early. Uh, but here's the thing. CD Projekt Red is a game developer who appreciates their players versus the game mm-hmm. developers who are telling players to appreciate their games. Yes. And, no, and, and, that, is, that is fantastic. I like that. <laughs> no. I like that because Activision, Ubisoft, EA, Blizzard, which is part of Activision. Well, yeah. But... Um, even um, a rock star, to a certain extent, it is. Yeah, it's, we're rock star. Yeah, appreciate it. Yeah, it's, appreciate us. And which these, rock star tends to be at a high enough quality that you can. When it comes to EA, who also I, have I'll, that attitude. Uh, well, and they've, rock star's also been around long enough that they've kind of earned it. Keep in mind, EA started in I think 1991. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Doggo! Doggo! The doggo! Doggo! No! The, the doggo is threatening the camera. Doggo! No! Doggo! No! Doggo! No! Hey, the doggo made it. Oh, wait. No, we're no, stopping. No, no, no. He's stopping. Oh, no. He no. found a food. He found a food. Doggo, no. It's not that bad. I think I think we can live with that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. The no, trial of the doggo. The, the trial of the doggo. Uh, <laughs> but no. Um, uh, the, we'll run well, a little over just, for that. It's just one of those um, things that I've seen. And, and, it's, and it's kind of part of the reason that I, I kind of got out of gaming because I, start, I just I got to this point where they were like, oh, well, and buy this content and buy that content and buy this content and do well, that. It's, con- it's the DLC thing. And now we can see it in the live service, the season pass and Battlefront 2. Yeah. Dun, oh, and then not dun, only that, dun, but you dun, 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 dun. and then you have all but, of the microtransactions, the loot boxing and CD Projekt skins, Red skins, skins. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And well, CD that's Proje- microtransactions. But well, and yeah, CD okay, Projekt Red enough. comes yeah. out and says, you know what, guys? No, you. So you bought our games. You support and guess us. What? We're going to do our best to just give you guys this stuff because. Oh, thank by the you. way, that, that, it's a thank you. It's all a that, thank you. That card. thank you note and all those skins and the uh, the extra quests and that came with their little schedule thing. Mm-hmm. Standard edition, mm-hmm. not collectors. Well, in addition to that, <laughs> one of the things that I love is that CD Projekt Red has taken some shots at EA on Twitter. Oh, that's years. great. That's yeah. No, some of these and, are great. And and they're so and they're and they're so honest about it. Because they just they realize I it's a business model that doesn't exist much anymore, but they realize that if you guys if you appreciate the people buying your game, they will appreciate you, and, and then, that's why they can you come get out a positive uh, relationship with your consumer base. Well, that's why nobody's mad that Cyberpunk got delayed. It's, uh, yeah, no, CD Projekt Red, you got 
you got your time. Dude, take do it. it. Do take it. Take as long as you need. And I still. And you will. I, have I, my I money. have suspicions it might get pushed back to 2021. I don't want it to because I'm really excited for it. But if it does, it's because CD Projekt Red thinks it needs it, and I'm on board. Yes. And guess what? They've already shown that they care about their players in a way that no other game developer is doing right now. And that's kind of why I opened up with that with that cheesy No, joke. no, absolutely. Now, here's because the thing it, about... It, it's, it's just... So it's nice just as a consumer... To keep this from being a total To be fan appreciated. Boy. Yeah, it, indeed. That's and, where I'm here, going with here, this. It's here's nice thing, to be appreciated as a consumer. Here's the thing about uh, Cyberpunk, right? Is that this is their first non-Witcher endeavor. Mm -hmm. So we still need to prove that they can get beyond that. Mm-hmm. I have every faith that they can because they have proven that they have the technical and storytelling chops to do so because the Witcher games are not based on the books. They no. are inspired by the books, but they tell a story after them. Mm -hmm. So it was their own narrative based on. Now they yes. are doing their own story. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's based on the world of Cyberpunk 2020, which is a tabletop yeah, yeah. game. So that gives them kind of some of the world building. But they are still going to tell their own story within that. And I think they have every chops. They have the chops and have every capability of doing this. But, you know, one of the... And um, Cy uh, with uh, CD Projekt Red and Cyberpunk, this is going to be kind of the proving bed that they can stand up there with the EAs and the Ubisofts based on not only their quality, but on their attitude. And so... Mm -hmm. well, can, uh can a triple A developer survive without doing the predatory business um, techniques of the big three being Activision, EA, well, Ubisoft. And, and, and here's the thing is I think that they will be able to survive it because, again, they show that appreciation. A thank you card in a video game? Yeah. Nobody does that. Their you know piracy standpoint, which yeah. is just, hey, guys, uh, please and thank you, it'd essentially. Be, it'd be really nice if you would help us out. And, pirate, and guess what? And I bet... Most of not and I, and by most of I mean fifty one percent. Like let's I'm most of the people that pirated the game are like uh, I'm, first I'm time I first time I played uh, Witcher two was on a pirated copy. My uh, roommate at the time handed me this uh, DVD case. Oh, oh, with what was clearly a computer printout. Oh God, insert card uh, meaning the the title yeah, the, yeah, the yeah, cover yeah, yeah, art. Yeah, yeah. And a what you, you remember? Um, oh God, what but was it, that laser disc printing thing? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, it was that. And it, it was this really cheap. But anyway, I put this thing. I swear to God, I thought this thing was going to blow up my computer. <laughs> and I play three levels of this thing, and I went to Steam and bought it for a full 30 bucks. Mm -hmm. 30 bucks. Well, $30. and here's the thing. And, yeah. and yeah. They, one of the things that just... Bought it again for five when I transitioned to my Steam license. Anyway. One of the but, things, um, what were we, we were watching, because uh, we, 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 were, we were watching some uh, videos today. And uh, what was that point that I was like, watch this. This is the point that needs to be made. Um, oh, it was the pre-order thing. Yeah. Yeah. It was the pre-order thing. That's right. Thank you for jogging my memory. I, yeah. I, but sorry, a lot going on in the brain. We're, we record multiple videos at a time. So, um, but no, the pre-order, they said, Don't hey, guys. give them behind the scenes. We were going to charge for that. Remember, that was a video. <laughs> right. That was a video. Um, <laughs> no, but we, uh, one of the things that just caught me off guard is they're like, hey, guys. You know, if you do pre-order it, that really helps for the hype of the game. But if you're skeptical, don't pre-order it. Please wait for reviews. Because we want and, you to and, enjoy and, it. And, and I heard that, and I was just like, I think that's when I came up with the CD Projekt Red, Can I Have Your Babies? Because, again, it's just, they are going, because here's the thing, is all these other developers are like, stockholders, 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 money, I'm money, gonna, money. I'm going like, to throw, th throw a term out there that you might not be familiar with. GOG. Uh, I've heard it before, but I, I don't. GOG is a um, store, launcher, and uh, platform similar to Steam <coughs> oh, that me. runs on no DRM, often gives discounts, and allows for old titles that are being uh, supported past their mm -hmm. original developer's support time to run on things like Windows 10, mm -hmm. owned and operated by CD Projekt Red. I love these people. I love them yeah, so much. Yeah, no, CD Projekt <laughs> no, Red did that. And like I Apologies said, for me, that. again, Bells getting back way. into gaming, I missed a lot. But for me... No, so cause, whenever cause, you hear So Joji, we're musicians, right? We're musicians. We have dealt with some skeevy music stores. Uh, and yeah. so we know what it's like to be screwed over as consumers. Uh, yep. 
And obviously everybody if else you're in does the Colorado too. Area Drum City Guitarland, just saying. To drum, drum, at least based on my five. Drum City, guitar, no, no, that's a good thing. Drum City Guitarland, go. Yeah, they're they're awesome. They're amazing. They'll help you. Out. But anyway, but so we we understand what it's like to be on the on on, on the bad end of something that you don't want to be on. The, and I'm sure everybody does. Guitar <laughs> Center, and that's why, <clears throat> and that's why we are so. Again, I, I'm sorry. I just unbelievably. I hope excited. I'm not coming down with uh, corporatitis. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and that's p- part of the reason that you just see this stuff and they are where all these other companies are going so hardcore for the, you know, the money, money, money. These guys are going are truly going for the fans. And it yes, seems like no, that they in are. every post that they do in there. And, and not only that, and, and what you so, some me, of this is and, and I do. I, I am cynical. I am cynical. I want so, you to make a point, and I'll remind you here in a second, but because okay. there's something but I want no, you that, to go. No, for. there. I am cynical in the sense that part of this goodwill building is very much a business tactic right is that you know but it's no different than a band you build a following Mm -hmm. the following will support you Mm -hmm. and honestly that's almost how they're treating it like cd project red are almost acting like they're rock stars they made the witcher 3 and so now we're all excited for their new album well, and that's okay. almost so, how they're acting. Well, and look at how they hire people, because you were telling me how they hire people and, and what they are, and their expectations. Yes, no, and, and this is about the most you'll ever hear us talk about the controversy around crunch culture, right? Mm-hmm. Is that when CD Projekt Red, who has come under fire for this, when they hire people, they say, look, we want the best of the best. We are striving. We are small. We are Poland's only representation in the AAA industry. Mm-hmm. So if you work for us, it will be long hours. And if you don't want to be the best, work somewhere yeah. else. And at least they say that. They say, look... This is what They've we said want. that publicly, so you yeah. can. And, and and you know what? But here's the thing: is I respect that because I they're upfront about it. I've worked for companies that aren't upfront about it. No, it's all you've sudden, worked for companies that aren't oh upfront God, about yes. it. Yes, no, I have. And it's all of a sudden it's like, yeah, you don't know. We're just going to need to stay for another two hours, six hours later. It's uh, just one more hour. Mm-hmm. And no, I'm no, not, it's but CD Projekt Red says we are trying to be the best. We are representing our country, and if you don't want to be the best, do not work for us mm-hmm. because we are asking that. No, and that's and, and so they take pride, and that right there, that's, that, that's pride. pride, the good kind of pride, the the I want to work for it kind of pride, the the dig your hands deep into whatever and you're I'm into sorry, and get to, it kind of pride. not not to be too political here, but for to be that kind of um, invested. To work for a company, whether it's music or video games uh, creation, movies, whatever, to be that, to be that invested, to try and be the best, to make that kind of art, a lot of times families have to get put on the back burner, if at all. Mm -hmm. And so if you're a family man, that's probably not your gig. But for young people who are in their early to mid-20s who want to prove a name and want to go for it, that's what they're trying to attract. And so this crunch culture of destroying families... And I've seen CD Projekt Red lumped into that. I don't think that's what they're going for. No, I don't, especially because it, it really doesn't seem to jive Pick with the rest priorities. of the culture it's that they're trying the to set up around their games. And they're not these guys that are going to say that, hey, we're going to come out with a game every year. No. Guys, you're going no, to get a game. It's been five years. That's what I'm saying. Guys, you're going to get a game any anywhere from three to five years, just depending. Maybe. Uh, well, you know. Okay, so let's look at the track record. It was 07. To I want to say oh nine oh ten so three to four years, uh, two to three yeah. sorry, um, and then from there with Witcher three which was the open world one mm-hmm. it was five. Mm-hmm. Now for Cyberpunk it's five. So guys, you're gonna get a stellar game from us every five years, and guess what? We're gonna take care of you. And again, me coming back into gaming. And and kind of learning to appreciate a lot of the art form and no, stuff. No, and they they Th- are. This is they. I I gravitated to them immediately. I was just like this. This is this is incredible. because of their pro consumer attitude. Now here's the thing, right? Is I think the hype for Cyberpunk 2077 is starting to reach near Jupiter. It might hit Saturn by the time that. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting and a for little those of you there. know who uh, astronomy, yeah. you, you know the distances there. Yeah. Um, but anyway, here's the thing: is I'm going to temper some expectations here because this is not going to be. The second coming. This is going to be a fantastic video game with a story worth telling and mechanics that support it. And as long as we temper our expectations to the point that we're not expecting just gaming to melt down, it very well might. These guys are capable of it. Mm -hmm. But I want a solid story with good mechanics and a good world building. And I absolutely think that they can pull this off. No, if we have to go off of game ratings, man, with the care that they're giving their consumers, if they give us anywhere between north of a six... Anything north of a six, I will accept from these guys because they care about their peep because they care about their consumers. And you know what? 
if they hit a six and because of technical or design, mm -hmm. you know what? You tried. You're still pro consumer, and I know you'll rebound. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And I think, and that's the thing is, I'm willing to give these guys just, I'm sorry, when they came out and said, don't pre order the game because you think, and I guarantee pre orders shot up that day. I'm sure they would. I, I, and again, I, that's why I'm a little cynical about well, the marketing here. But, but <laughs> here's the thing is, here's the thing. It is, you got a note in the but Witcher 3. But they've earned it. That tactic that, would not work if they oh, if they'd EA not did that. It. If EA did that, uh, people, everybody'd be like, you know what? We'll wait. <laughs> you know what? Well, no. The last time this came up with EA, it was Battlefield 5 and all the controversy around that. And they said, you know what? We're on the right side of history. And if you don't want to buy it, just don't. And so people went, we won't. <laughs> yeah. And that's one of the biggest things that I can say is that when you hear about people who care about their craft, who care about the people who they're who they want to buy their craft, yeah, and who, you know, again, they dig down deep and they strive to be that best. They're trying to represent the best of their culture and the their country their people and their yeah. country. And they're trying to shoot for the stars and they're not they don't shoot for the stars and oh if they miss they get the moon right again i'm gonna say one more thing that i just want people to understand this and i'm talking to a very certain subset of people and you know who you are which is stop telling cd project red they're racist it's a polish company with polish ideals and a polish base and a polish story that they were telling stop america is not the world police stop yeah if you're not those people ignore that yeah no, uh, well, and that's one of the biggest things. But here's here's the fact of the matter. I'm going to go back to a point to end it that I said earlier. CD Project Red is somebody who cares about their consumers. They do, and they want to take care of their consumers. Sorry, Whereas I just had, I, I had other to hit that. game I had developers to hit that. want you to care about the their thing. game simply because it's their game. CD yeah, Project Red cares about their consumers. Other people want gamers to care about, want their consumers well, to care Call about It's Call of Duty. Their it's Assassin's Creed. It's Battlefield. It's CD Project Red. GTA. In my mind, you're, you guys are knocking it out of the park with me just being back in gaming for ish a year now, give or take. Because we started Maybe playing 18 game. months at the most. Because I think it was about 18 months ago I started getting you with the couch co op, and yeah, now we're doing and, this. And now we're so, doing this. So, yeah. But CD Project Red, you guys are killing it. You're at least, at least on your marketing team. You guys are taking shots at EA. You're 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 swinging at those and giants. Keep taking those shots too. Keep EA taking those shots it. because we can't do it and you can, and we appreciate it. And guys, I'm looking forward to Cyberpunk 2077 because I've already seen some stuff. You will see it here. Yeah. When it comes out, we will be Twitch streaming it. Thank you for the uh, filters, by the way, because that helps us yeah. Twitch streamers. And and um, so yeah, no, yeah, it'll be us. here. And uh, I know we're at least buying two copies because he's going to have one. I'm going to have one. Mm -hmm. So, And, guys, <laughs> let us know what you think about CD Projekt Red down in the comments below. And if we have earned it, don't forget to uh, hit that subscribe uh, button and ring that notification bell for us. And like this video. And if you guys really, really like what we do and we really, really earned it, share this with everybody and show them what a drink with crazy is all about. And until next time, thank you all for watching and cheers. Cheers, guys. Thank you for watching A Drink With Crazy. If you liked the conversation, make sure to click here to see more.